Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, well, been doing a couple videos lately and for one reason or another they all turn up to be uh, Oakley videos or Oakley related videos. So um, I just kind of wanted to maybe step aside from that for a second and uh, do a little show and tell um, on something else. And I don't call it a review because uh, as I put it out before, I'm not really an expert when it comes to um, a lot of the gear that I carry. I just see what other people carry, what they say about their gear, and then I, you know, I go out and get it. Um, what I will provide you though is my experience with that particular gear. So um, again, this is my take on it. Um, you know, it might not be the same as yours, so you know, just take it as that. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is my Taurus 1911. AL um, gun in a the 45 ACP caliber. Um, I'll give you a couple of uh, specs on it. Uh, it's a it's an eight plus one, eight in the magazine, one in the chamber. Uh, it's a five inch barrel, so it's the uh, the full length barrel. It has the um, the ventilated trigger type, uh, as you guys can see right here, and it also has the um, let me see if I can get that the uh, Heine sights stock. Now I haven't done any modifications to this gun. Uh, basically it's just 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 as it comes from the factory. Uh, and it comes with the uh, the gun and uh, two magazines as you see right here. Uh, just uh, just to show you guys. Uh, the gun is empty. Nothing in the magazine well, nothing in the chamber. Okay. Uh, this particular model is the AL, and uh, that's uh, the short for aluminum. And basically, what it is, it's uh, the construction is a steel alloy construction. So, in other words, the um, the rail, the, I'm sorry, the uh, the upper portion of the gun is steel, just like in any other 1911. But the bottom portion is aluminum, and what that does is it definitely cuts back on the weight of the gun itself. Now, since it is a 5-inch barrel, um, it's not going to hinder yourself as much as the recoil, as you would think. Um, you get this gun empty, weighs about 32 ounces. So, it's, it's a good carry gun, definitely. Um, I don't use it as a carry gun. It's a little bit uh, big and it prints too much for the way I wear my clothing. But uh, it definitely shoots great. Now, what I did want to put out there is um, there's a myth about Taurus and their guns and the fact that they might not be reliable, the fact that they might break easily. Um, I've got a couple Taurus guns, um, this being one of them. I have put about 500 rounds through this particular gun and it's still the factory ambidextrous safety, just so you can see on both sides, which is one of the first things that people say goes. Um, never had any hiccups with the gun. I uh, never had any jams, any double feeds, anything like that. It's, it shoots great. Now, again, you know, I might be with that one in a million person that hasn't had any hiccups with it. Um, but, I mean, you know, I, like I said, I have a couple of Taurus guns and I've never had any issues with mine. Uh, I guess, if, you know, if, if you just, uh, you know, put the right rounds through it and, uh, you know, clean it, keep it uh, oiled, I mean, you'll be okay. Um, Funny story behind this particular gun, I, uh, I actually had a gun that I wanted to either buy, uh, I'm sorry, sell or trade. So I went to one of my local gun stores with the gun, and it just so happens that they had this particular gun in stock, and the gun that I took, um, they had a person that was looking for that particular gun. So uh, as lucky as I could get, it was actually an even trade. Uh, and let me tell you, the one I had was definitely not worth as much as this. And I've had it. I had it for quite some time. So, uh, you know, I guess I was, like I said, very lucky because it was just the right place at the right time. Um, no money out of pocket. You know, I just bought a case of rounds, and that that was it. Um, but I couldn't be happier with this particular gun. Um, I am looking to do maybe a couple modifications to the gun. Um, maybe change out the grips. These are the stock grips. Uh, maybe put something else. Uh, you know, maybe a custom grip or whatnot. Um, and then the other, the only other thing was maybe do a um, 
a uh, compensator in the front. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. But um, you know, if you if you research this gun for the price that you pay, I mean, they MSRP about 800. Obviously, that's not what you'll pay. Uh, I mean, I think the the local dealer had it here for 650, and you could probably find it as cheap as 550. Uh, maybe at a gun show or uh, you know just uh, searching around for 550. Um, if you were to find that, you got a pretty good gun. I mean, if, if you go on the internet and you research everything that's put into this gun, they say that with all the little upgrades, you know, the uh, ventilated trigger uh, and things like that, you're getting about a $2,000 gun. Now, again, not an expert. I don't really know how, how true that is. But, I mean, you know, you, you definitely pick it up in your hands and you'll feel, um, you know, it, it feels very solid. Feels uh feels a little bit lighter than your normally than your normal 1911s, which is uh it's a plus, um, especially for those guys that want to carry. But it is a full size 1911. You know, don't don't get away from that. Uh, just give you a little little look see at it. It is uh, Taurus. Let's see if can focus. And then the other side, you know, there's your uh, ambidextrous uh, safety. Uh, there you go, PT 1911. 45 ACP caliber. Uh, it's got the grooves in the front and in the back, uh, which makes it a lot easier when you're racking the slide. Um, it's got checkering right here on the front, and it's got it on the back as well. Got your safety slide catch, magazine release, and the magazines are actually they're pretty nice. Um, they're uh let's see if I can get that in the focus. Uh not really. No, it's eight round magazines and it comes with two of them. And right now I have in here uh what is this? The Hornady forty five auto plus P um rounds. Pretty good rounds. Again, this is not a, a carry um it's not a carry gun. It's um it's not a, a home protection gun either. Uh, I just uh, just kind of have it um, to go out shooting on the range, you know, have have some fun with it. And uh, like I said, so far so good. You know, haven't had any hiccups with it. Uh, hopefully it'll keep like that. So um, just let me know if you guys have any uh, any questions or if you guys have any, if anybody has any, you know, any of you guys have this gun out there. Uh, let me know what your uh, what your opinions on it are. Um, I know they compare this to the uh, Rock Island Armory. Uh, I've seen a couple of those. Um, and, uh, I mean, you know, if you were to ask me, I think this is well worth the, uh, the money. You're getting a, a lot of gun for the money. Uh, and, you know, hopefully, you know, it'll turn out like me where you get a, a good gun out of, the, out of the deal. So let me know if you have any questions or any comments. Thanks.